we saw a lot of interesting games bayern munich city chelsea madrid benfica inter milan and ac milan and napoli where we had predicted city and madrid to come through but there were huge surprises in the other part of the draw where ac milan and inter milan uh, came through now a semi final at san siro and then uh, the other two major teams locking horns was what do you see yeah for me um, ac milan winning over napoli i didn't see that coming at all it's it was a rafael leao show and uh, napoli towards the end of the season have dipped a lot I, i'm sure they'll be you know dejected after losing because we pegged them to reach the finals and uh, at least one of the italian sides are reaching the finals which is good news for seria who was struggling as a league and um, so i think i back ac milan to win it now because of the form that uh, the strikers are in and uh, in the other match it's it's going to be tough it's going to be even though city are in their uh, very best this season at this point of time but playing against um real madrid in a semi final is going to be tough and uh, this is going to be one of the best matches uh, that we have seen in the in the last two three years i feel this is going to be a very good battle yes the only thing city as of now lack is pc center backs like they like to play a line of four center backs and we know not every like the center backs can't run that fast compared to a walker or someone like that uh, and we saw that in the arsenal game uh, where pep started kyle walker so yeah. he knew martinelli could stretch so he tried to defend uh, them with walker so it will be interesting to see uh, now ake being fit will we go back to the four center backs or will pep make an exception and try to get in kyle walker and stop vinicius because madrid has two pc wingers with rodrigo also being on the other side so yeah. it's not not just uh, a thing where you stop martinelli with a kyle walker uh, here the other flank will also be tested and yeah, how I, the pace uh, matches it I because that is he has to play akanje um in defense like one of the center backs has to be akanje other one deas and ake if is fit on the left and then uh, kyle walker, uh, walker has to play on the right it's it's common sense unless pep overthinks this and he he is bound to do that but i think it's it's very likely that kyle walker will start uh, to negate uh, vinicius speed we saw how they tore apart chelsea even though they have the kind of fofana and other center backs who are quick still James was there. Still, they they completely destroyed Chelsea. Chelsea are nowhere a uh, elite side now, but still um, that potential threat is there. Benzema scored a hat trick in the last game as well, so it's going to be interesting. I think it, this is a great game to watch. This is going to be a thriller. Yes, and I might uh, I feel I don't know uh, a tough thing to ask, but Bernardo Silva we have seen him play the way he is playing and the way he has been defending. so whether he starts on the right wing or maybe an alvarez who is known for working out a lot and getting in those defensive positions to help his wingers so again few tweaks here and there to see what exactly pep does against madrid and an interesting game so host your predictions city's uh, madrid very tough very tough very tough i see it being a united fan i guess i see madrid winning this 2-1 uh, or even 3-2 so with a one goal cushion at, at the end they will score that and they will win it that's what i feel and the other game i think ac milan will win it yes i agree with the ac milan pick uh, but again city madrid i think it will be a comfortable because uh, the way madrid are playing currently as well not the best uh, so i think 4 to 4 city over two legs so let's see and uh, moving on to the europa league who's uh, your team suffered a uh, interesting loss uh, to say the least against sevilla who were at that point of time struggling uh, mid table in the spanish la liga and uh, how would you describe the two legs it was um, like i mentioned um, for the spurs game uh, we struggled to capitalize on our chances we could have um, managed the game a lot better we gave them the opportunity to come back and we have no one else to blame than 
us actually so this is a growing and a young side who who are getting the confidence to do things who were you know hip to win the uh, europa league but again like you saw with arsenal losing united have kind of bottled it they, it was their competition to win it once arsenal went out of the competition so it was such a disappointing performance also the fact that we lost a lot of players bruno being uh, suspended and uh, licha um, and varan uh, being injured we had to play um, a makeshift back line so it never looked like we would go there and uh, outperform them like a huge margin but i still expected us to kind of win it but sadly we didn't and now it looked like roma with jose marinho and a rejuvenated juventus um are back to go into the final and it's going to be a good match to watch yes. again talking about juventus uh, against sporting they were the most convincing team they were just able to get their goals when needed so again i wouldn't be surprised if any of those team wins because all have been in a rough patch uh, of yeah. form this season none of them have been consistent it's just showing up at on the night and being able to get uh, the goals when needed so it's a very open uh, bracket and again as uh, jose marinho being the coach they are the favorites uh, to win it but again i won't be surprised if anyone out of those four teams wins so it will be an interesting uh, week to watch in as well so before we go uh, there is a last topic to talk